Hi everyone, I'm Trish and welcome to my women's online Bible study. Today we're covering Leviticus chapters 18 and 19. So let's say a short prayer and dive right in. Heavenly Father, please give me clarity to speak and the hearer, the ear to hear. Uh, please impart on us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of all your ways that we may walk upright before you. Help us to share your word with others in clarity and in its truth. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So grab your Bibles and turn with me to Leviticus 18. I'm reading from the New King James Version. Then the Lord spoke to Moses saying, speak to the children of Israel and say to them, I am the Lord your God. According to the doings of the land of Egypt, where you dwell, you shall not do. And according to the doings of the land of, land of Canaan, where I am bringing you, you shall not do. Nor shall you walk in their ordinances. You shall observe my judgments and keep my ordinances. To walk in them, I am the Lord your God. You shall therefore keep my statutes and my judgments, which if a man does, he shall live by them. I am the Lord. None of you shall approach anyone who is near of kin to him to uncover his nakedness. I am the Lord. The nakedness of your father or the nakedness of your mother you shall not uncover. She is your mother. You shall not uncover her nakedness. The nakedness of your father's wife you shall not uncover. It is your father's nakedness. The nakedness of your sister, the daughter of your father, or the daughter of your mother, whether born at home or elsewhere, their nakedness you shall not uncover. The nakedness of your son's daughter or your daughter's daughter, their nakedness you shall not uncover. For theirs is your own nakedness. The nakedness of your father's wife's daughter, begotten by your father, she is your sister. You shall not uncover her nakedness. You shall not uncover the nakedness of your father's sister. She is near of kin to your father. You shall not uncover the nakedness of your mother's sister, for she is near of kin to your mother. You shall not uncover the nakedness of your father's brother. You shall not approach his wife. She is your aunt. You shall not uncover the nakedness of your daughter-in-law. She is your son's wife. You shall not uncover her nakedness. You shall not uncover the nakedness of your brother's wives. It is your brother's nakedness. You shall not uncover the nakedness of a woman and her daughter, nor shall you take her son's daughters or her daughter's daughters to uncover her nakedness. They are near, near of kin to her. It is wickedness. Nor shall you take a woman as a rival to her sister to uncover her nakedness while the other is alive. Also, you shall not approach a woman to uncover her nakedness as long as she is in her customary impurity. Moreover, you shall not lie carnally with your neighbor's wife to defile yourself with her. And you shall not let any of your descendants pass through the fire to Molech, nor shall you profane the name of your God. I am the Lord. You shall not lie with a male as with a woman. It is an abomination. Nor shall you mate with any animal to defile yourself with it. Nor shall any woman stand before an animal to mate with it. It is perversion. Do not defile yourselves with any of these things, for all... For by all these the nations are defiled, which I am casting out before you. For the land is defiled. Therefore I visit the punishment of its iniquity upon it, and the land vomits out its inhabitants. You shall therefore keep my statutes and my judgments, and shall not commit any of these abominations, either any of your own nation or any stranger who dwells among you. For all, sorry, for all these uh, defiled. Sorry, 27, 18 and 27. For all these abominations the men of the land have done who were before you and thus the land is defiled. <laughs> Least the land vomit you out also when you defile it as it vomited out the nations that were before you. For whoever commits any of these abominations, the, person, the persons who commit them shall be cut off from among their people. Therefore, you shall keep my ordinances so that you do not commit any of these abominations, abominable customs, which were committed before you, and that you do not defile yourselves by them. I am the Lord your God. Leviticus 19. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to all the congregation of the children of Israel and say to them, You shall be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. Every one of you shall revere his mother and his father, and keep my Sabbaths. I am the Lord your God. Do not turn to idols, nor make for yourselves molded gods. I am the Lord your God. And if you offer a sacrifice of a peace offering to the Lord, you shall offer it of your own free will. It shall be eaten the same day you offer it, and on the next day. And if any remains until the third day, it shall be burned in the fire. And if it is eaten at all on the third day, it is an abomination. It shall not be accepted. 
Therefore, everyone who eats it shall bear his iniquity before he has profaned the hallowed uh, offering of the Lord. And that person shall be cut off from his people. When you reap the harvest of your land, you shall not wholly reap the corners of, the, of your field, nor shall you gather the gleanings of your harvest. And you shall not glean your vineyards, nor shall you gather every grape of your vineyard. You shall leave them for the poor and for the stranger. For the poor and the stranger, I am the Lord your God. You shall not steal, nor deal falsely, nor lie to one another. And you shall not swear by my name falsely, nor shall you profane the name of your God. I am the Lord. You shall not cheat your neighbor, nor rob him. The wages of him who is hired shall not remain with you all night until morning. You shall not curse the deaf, nor put a stumbling block before the blind, but shall fear your God. I am the Lord. You shall not do injustice in judgment. You shall not be partial to the poor, nor, nor honor the person or of the mighty. In righteousness, you shall judge your neighbor. You shall not go about as a tailbearer among your people, nor shall you take a stand against the life of your neighbor. I am the Lord. <clears throat> you shall not hate your brother in your heart. You shall surely re rebuke your neighbor and not bear sin because of him. You shall not take vengeance nor bear any grudge against the children of your people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. You shall keep my statutes. You shall not let your livestock breed with, a, with another kind. You shall not sow your field with mixed seed, nor shall a, ga a garment of mixed linen and wool come upon you. Whoever lies carnally with a woman who is betrothed to a man as a concubine and who has not at all been redeemed nor given her freedom for this there shall be scourging, but they shall not be put to death because she was not set free. And he shall bring his trespass offering to the Lord, to the door of the tabernacle of meeting, a ram as a trespass offering. The priest shall make atonement for him with the ram of the trespass offering before the Lord for his sin, which he has committed. And the sin which he has committed shall be forgiven him. When you come into the land and have planted all kinds of trees for food, then you shall count their fruit as uncircumcised. Three years it shall be as uncircumcised to you. It shall not be eaten. But in the fourth year, all its fruit shall be holy. A praise to the Lord. And in the fifth year, you may eat its fruit and it may uh, that it may yield to you its increase. I am the Lord, your God. You shall not eat anything with the blood, nor shall you practice divination or soothsaying. You shall not shave around the sides of your head, nor shall you disfigure the edges of your beard. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor tattoo any marks on you. I am the Lord. Do not prostitute your daughter to cause her to be a harlot. Least the land fall into harlotry and the land becomes full of wickedness. You shall keep my Sabbaths and reverence my sanctuary. I am the Lord. Give no regard to mediums and familiar spirits. Do not seek after them to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. You shall rise before the gray-headed and honor the presence of an old man and fear your God. I am the Lord. And if a stranger dwells with you in your land, you shall not mistreat him. A stranger who dwells among you shall be to you as one born among you, and you shall love him as yourself, for you were strangers in the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. You shall do no injustice in judgment and measurement of length, weight, or volume. You shall have honest scales, honest weights, an honest ephah, ephah, and an honest hen. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Therefore you shall observe all my statutes and all my judgments, and perform them. I am the Lord. Heavenly Father, bless the reading of your word. Let it fill us up till we're able to eat of it again. If you're just here for scripture read through, thank you for coming to read through scripture with me. I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you again next time. If you're here for more in-depth Bible study, stick around, and we'll dive right in. Okay, so we are picking up in chapter 18 with the laws of sexual morality. Um, verses 1 through 5, the Lord instructs the people not to behave like those people in Egyptian. So the ways that they were used to being around, the Lord instructs them not to follow those, but to walk in the ways as he is instructing them in uh, the books of Leviticus, all of the laws that he is laying forth before them, and for them to continue into uh, with these laws when they enter into the land that he has promised them. Uh, chapter, uh, sorry, uh, verses 6 through 18 are laws prohibiting sexual behavior with close relatives, uh, which are moral laws and that we should follow those laws to this day. Um, verses 19 through 23 
uh, are women should not have sex during their menstruation and people who uh, should not sleep with other people who are married don't practice child sacrifice don't lay with someone with the same as the same sex as you and don't have sex with animals as it is profane uh, verses 24 through 30 the lord of uh the lord um again instructs not to practice the practices of other nations but only to follow his laws as um, and as we can see they are good <laughs> moving on to chapter 19 um, the Lord states for his people he wants them to be holy as he is holy and then he gives them instructions on how to uh, become holy and to walk upright before him so uh, be mindful uh, that all of these ways are given from the Lord and uh, taught his holiness and we see that they are good um, the Lord speaks to Moses about the uh, character uh, the uh, characteristics of being holy of loving your neighbor uh, as yourself and keeping the Lord's statues uh, so that is all what is covered in uh, 19 they're both more moral and ceremonial laws um, so pretty much it that sums it up uh, of what is covered in chapters 18 and 19 um so uh thank you <laughs> for coming to uh i was looking through my notes and everything just to make sure i covered everything but that's that's it it's just uh, being holy walking with the lord um that's it thank you for coming to read through um and study scripture with me it's like a flying here uh i really appreciate it and I hope to see you again next time. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and bring you peace both now and forever.